Hello, fire signs. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see the overall energy for you, fire signs, this week. So we have meditation for creation. All right, so you could be creating something new. Okay, wow. Affir uh, yeah. Affirmations for <laughs> healing your heart, okay? Yeah, welcome Mercury Retrograde, right, guys? <laughs> so, affirmations for healing your heart. That's awesome, okay? So, you're thinking of creative ways to heal or to heal people, all right? Hmm. Let's see here. Maybe you're saying you don't have time, but it's always time to heal. Okay, yeah, you're rare and free, and there are not many like you. Okay. Yeah, it says manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. Aw. Okay. Somebody need to stop smoking so much. Okay? For real. You smoke too much or you need to stop smoking in them. Smoke papers. Them them backwoods or them whatever guava leaves or whatever the fuck that you smoking. That is doing is really taking a toll on your throat chakra on your um. Yeah, you got to stop smoking so much. Whether it's cigarettes or, you know, stop smoking so much. If that was you. For real. Yeah, we got somebody that's held in high honor here. Yeah, we got to let you got to let somebody go here that's held in high honor. Sacrifice or you sacrifice somebody that was held in high honor, but love conquers all, not manipulation tactics. Yeah, you could be thinking like, well, what's the reason? But yeah, maybe this person want to know. What's the reason for you to try to manipulate something here when you could just be your authentic self? And go towards this person. So, because you could be a very a energy that is very um, you're if you're a fire sign, so you go, you're a go getter. So go get it, go get her. Somebody that's rare and free here. They're single. You're rare and free. You could be single as well, but you could be sad that this person isn't around, or you don't know how to say what you want to say, how to get that fire started. Okay, again between the two of you guys, or something like that. That could be going on. Or that's what somebody is feeling about you, fire sign. Let's see here. What's going on for the fire signs this week? Yeah, I'm here to start a conversation. Say something. So you can be trying to figure out what to say to somebody. What? Fire sign? Okay. Somebody feel like somebody's out of their league. That's so I just heard. She out of my league or he out of my league or something like that. They definitely got these bodyguards here to surround this person. Somebody could be very protective over themselves or their energy or something like that. Wow, we got good karma. Yeah, so, and I instantly heard Beyonce when she said, uh, you want me to come around to give you good karma, but no. Nope. Okay, not until you apologize. So, if you apologize to your twin flame, okay, then you would get good karma. So, it's like, whoever this is, it's like, you want to talk to them, but you need to apologize to them. Yeah. Oh, because watch your words here, because it's manifesting your reality. So, if you say, I ain't apologize, you better sh at that. You better watch your words here because somebody's not a pushover, Divine Masculine. You know that. You know that. You know abundance come with your person here. All right. And somebody definitely want to spend quality time with you. All right. Um, and yeah. All right. Maybe you just need to apologize to this person. But yeah. So this twin flame brings you good karma. But there's a need for apology. What happened with you all? Aww. 
Oh, this is what happened. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. <laughs> but for real, I felt that in my gut. Oh, so, of course, Carmisha popped her little big-ass head. Look. And they even got a big head ass light skin Carmi show on here. It's always them big head light skin bitches. No offense, I love y'all, but come on. All right. <laughs> Threw our masculines off. Like, God damn it, you big head bubble head bitch. No. All right. But this is what happened. A third party interfered. Carmi Carmisha. Male or female. Okay. Carmelo. All right. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, fire sign. So, <sighs> what a single web we weave. Hmm. Fire signs. What a single web we weave. So, let's get into this. See what here happened. Because this is coming up. It is Mercury retrograde. So, it is time for these twin flame situations. But somebody going to have to get creative with this uh, apology. All right, because somebody is a diamond in a rough kind of energy, and they are definitely held in high honor, okay? Or you hold them in high honor. Maybe they hold you in high honor. You could be afraid, okay, to even communicate. Like, you want to ask them out on a date. Can I take you get some drinks or something? I don't know. Due to some sort of lie here that happened here, Aquarius Energy, yeah, they made somebody move away. Some more time of waters or move away from somebody. Let's see, fire signs. Leo, Aries, and Sag. Leo, Aries, and Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Leo, Aries, and Sag for the week. It's the message for you guys. Coming towards y'all. What y'all need to know what's going on? Ain't a why. So, communication, Sag. Yeah, communicate your feelings, Leo. Leo says, tell this person that you love them. That's what you want to tell this person. This could be somebody, yeah. It might make somebody happy, to, you know, that you want to reconcile with them. Okay, yeah, that you learned your lessons. That might make them happy. All right? Maybe you just don't know what to say or what. But Mercury is all about the communication. All right, so yeah. Definitely communication is the key right now with this Mercury retrograde. How's this coming in here? Page of Swords. So this might be immature communication. I hope not. But this is definitely somebody spying, watching here, watching somebody right now. What's the obstacle? Seven of Cups here. Some sort of confusion or illusion, wishful thinking. <clears throat> and the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So somebody about to speak their dang on truth here. All right. Somebody, that's their wish fulfillment here. All right, so we got Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio, and Gemini. What's the Eight of Wands, please? So, some communication might be blocked. Two of Wands, there's a stalemate, okay? A Libra could have blocked you. All right, due to some sort of manipulation. All right, or somebody could have manifested a block here, uh, avoidance, because they caused some sort of imbalance through the another lover here. But the truth is, somebody really is in love, love with somebody, but they are so scared, you know, to come up out their comfort zone is what I'm hearing. What's this two of swords here? So somebody is definitely wanting to communicate, but you're trying to avoid an argument or something. Two of swords. Yeah, they could be trying to avoid this emperor or... Yeah, sun card. That came to light here, Leo. Um, yeah, that somebody was trying to hold them back from their success. A Leo here or a Capricorn here. But somebody could have said something that made somebody be kind of avoid this Aries or caught that caused a stalemate with the Emperor. But they seen that somebody just was trying to hold them back from having victory and success. Somebody felt betrayed by somebody here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this emperor? The five of wands. Yeah, this caused some sort of conflict with the king of cups. <laughs> or emotional conflict. Yeah. Because this king of cups definitely seen somebody as a gift. And they felt like if they took a leap of faith 
to maybe do some sort of inner strength here or to block somebody's inner strength to manipulate something so they can cause an imbalance saying they had another lover like because they was in love with this person so somebody could have did this to like what the type of freaky weird somebody did this this was somebody that was this person's friend maybe it could have been a few people that was in competition with this emperor because they had feelings for someone they was trying to block communication with all right What's the five of wands here? Can somebody call it some sort of dumb? Or, yeah, that's the truth. King of swords. Yeah, damn. That's the truth about the king of swords, the king of cups. So this is like a couple people that is, comp is in competition uh, competition with this Aries, this emperor, whoever this is. Okay, yeah, because they want to be the one to give that offer of love to someone. Yeah, so they doing some strong-ass magic, man, on you, King of Wands. Kind of called you a heavy burden, right? Struggling, all right? I feel like somebody needs to be single in order to bring something back into balance. But somebody is trying to really put it on somebody's page of swords. Could be a queen of, this queen of pentacles. What's the page of swords here? Somebody spying here in secret, a Virgo. Yeah, and I feel like they feel defeated, Aquarius, okay? Or they feel defeated here, like they sabotage something. What's Hermit? Yeah, High Priestess, because somebody's very intuitive, and they were awakened to what somebody was doing. What's the High Priestess? Yeah, and they're heartbroken now, because somebody's getting their confidence back. Seven of Cups, so somebody's definitely had wishful thinking that this they wasn't going to have this, had a confidence here. Yeah to think about sit there and think about something or this queen of wands sat there and thought about something this aries this pisces whatever they was thinking like they wish they would have married a twin flame okay or they would have yeah because they could be married to a queen of pentacles they wanted to marry somebody else so whoever this aries or pisces or whatever they was in the illusion that they couldn't maybe i don't know queen of wands two of wands yeah like they couldn't get on this path they can yeah they just had to learn the lesson to let, sacrifice things or let people go or something like that. What's the two of wands? Yeah, the death card. That's all they had to do was end something. Take the action to end something. So they can get on this path. So they had, this person had them in an illusion. Yeah, they thought that it was going to be so hard to be single or something. <laughs> I don't know. Or because somebody is single or abundant or they live in a life of luxury or something like that. I don't know, child. But somebody's about to end something here to get on the path here. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, they're they're karmic. They're mad. They're pissed off and scared now. Cause somebody's ending something now. The Queen of Pentacles has ended it. They're pissed off. What's the devil? Yeah, they're so fucking jealous of this Empress. So Emperor, this Queen of Pentacles is terribly jealous of your Empress. Terribly, and they've been trying to block her for the longest. Or they've been blocking her. Or they've been hoping she give up on you. She hasn't. She still holds you in high honor. There's still love or something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? And your karmic is like hell bent on being jealous of your empress, honey. What's the empress here? Yeah, four of cups here. Six of pentacles. So this wife or this mother or somebody wanted you to miss an opportunity to bring something back into balance. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanted someone to take a leap of faith here, but they seen, yeah, somebody knows the truth that, you know, like they found out some sort of truth or clarity about something. They really want somebody to believe they missed the opportunity with the Empress or the Empress missed some sort of opportunity with a cancer and it's a twin flame connection. It's never a missed opportunity. That's a, It's always the lessons here that you got to learn in order to move forward with your twin flame. Alright, yeah, because this is like you had to get some sort of soul recognition. Archangel Metatron here is going to be moving something forward. This is the Two of Cups here, right? Now that you had some sort of awareness here of who was working together with what and what's the next. Yeah, because you was in the dark in the past behind this. Or they was in the dark but in the past here. But somebody definitely is, yeah. This is Twin Flame here. It's crazy. Yeah, come on, man. We got the lover's card here. Soulmate, yeah, double twin flame connection here. Somebody feel like they lost the opportunity to reconcile here. 
That's magic. Somebody's really doing some strong ass magic. It's about the it's about to break. Yeah, because somebody really trying to make it hard for you to be single or what? Because yeah. Yeah, you're going at six of wands. You're going to notice this about this Queen of Cups. And you're going to probably walk away once you find out the truth here about your true love or whatever. And things are going to change here. Yeah. And this person knew that. Like, but somebody wants you to think that you're not going to get something here, Fire Signs. I don't know why, but no. So, somebody wants you to know they're single here. All right. Yeah, but somebody wanted power over you. A new love wanted power over you. Maybe you got a new love here. Something like that. They wanted power over you here. I'm hearing the truth will set you free. So, once this truth come out, fire sign, somebody's going to feel set free. You are or they are. <clears throat> yeah, on oh, a new moon here. Something could have happened. You were protected from all evil. Because they could have tried to do another spell on you or something like that. We got M-N-O or P. First, last, middle, initial. We got Earth Angel. All blocks are removed Sunday. So that was yesterday. Sunday. <clears throat> all blocks were removed for you and their person here. Cause somebody's been blocking you here. Yeah, because you finally learned the lesson here. We got Gemini. Maybe about a Gemini here. This weekend, it just fell on the floor. Yeah, you could have found out somebody had mental issues here. Expect positive changes here. All right, we got a cancer here. I'm sorry as fuck. I'm not single. He big mad. Because somebody only wanted you for money or wanted them for money. Somebody has a divine bodyguard. So, yeah, no. Okay. I hope this helped you.